Looking to become a data engineer in 2025? Let me stop you right there. Today, we're going to talk about some of the challenges and opportunities that you're going to face in becoming a data engineer and what the realities are in the day-to-day -day life of a data engineer. If you stick to the end, you might just find out that data engineering is the career for you. Do you think that data engineering is a dream where you get to code all day long, you get to create pipelines, create these new and exciting data sets? Well, let me tell you that dealing with endless data quality issues is a matter of fact from a data engineering perspective. Your data, your source data changes, people add a column, they throw in data, users throw in data that have all kinds of weird characters in it that you have to account for and figure out and roll with the punches as things go along. Debugging pipelines can be a nightmare. So if these are things that scare you away, maybe data engineering is not for you. But if these challenges sound like something that you can get into and really overcome, then keep on watching. Think of data engineering as being the plumber of the data world. You're there to keep everything flowing, but no one else realizes it until something breaks. The next challenge, the learning never ends. There's always a new tool. There's always a new resource. Sometimes there's even a whole new language that comes out that you need to start learning about from you know everything from new ETL tools to evolving cloud platforms the learning has to be continuous so if you don't love learning new things data engineering is not for you one of those such examples is just when you think that you've mastered spark and databricks it's time to learn fabric if you don't know what fabric is it's a new tool for microsoft been around about a year but it's the evolution of ADF and Synapse right into Fabric. So again, always new tools, always ever evolving new platforms. Next challenge, dirty data. The real world is messy, incomplete, and often not compliant. Just when you're ready to work miracles with your data, a new error pops up, a new data set changes. You never know what's coming next. Imagine you're trying to build a puzzle, but every other piece is either missing, duplicated, or sticky. Imagine you're trying to build a puzzle, but every other piece is either missing, duplicated, or sticky. Next, let's talk about pressure from stakeholders. You'll be the go-to person for all things data, meaning constant pressure from various departments. You'll be having you'll be receiving pressure from your manager, your peers, along with project managers, constant people wanting to know where their data is. So being able to handle that with finesse is a key piece of being a data engineer. Everyone wants their data pipelines yesterday. They don't understand. All they know is that you create the magic. And when you do, it is an amazing feeling. But when they're waiting for their data, it's hard for them to understand that it could be complex and messy. An example of this is when my COO called me one time and said, hey, I need all of the renewal data for our sales org back from 2010 to now, and I need it in about an hour. Can you imagine that? So being able to deal and manage that stress and anxiety of receiving those asks is something that you have to deal with on a daily basis being a data engineer. Most people getting into data engineering think that data engineering is all about writing code and building pipelines. So let me tell you, it's not just about coding. A lot of it is being able to manage expectations with stakeholders, being able to troubleshoot issues that come up, not just technical issues, but data issues. So, you know, part of that is infrastructure work, debugging, documentation, and pipeline maintenance, upkeep of rotating keys and passwords. So you're often more of a problem solver than a coder. Despite all of these challenges, data engineering is an exciting career and has a bright future. If you're still watching, then maybe data engineering is right for you. If you're ready to take on these challenges and deal with these troubleshooting issues and develop your soft skills in a way that you can 
really make a difference in an organization? Then jump into data engineering. It's an exciting and fun career. It's something that I've loved for the last 25 years. So if that's for you, be sure to comment and like down below and so that you could become part of our Gamble Datasphere community and continue on your path to data mastery.